So I spoke to Dr. Rogers this morning. He was very happy with your progress. I passed all the neuro exams. I feel good physically. And I've run out of shows to binge watch. Mm. Mike, I think you need more time. You're still recovering. You're wrong. No, I'm not. But it's not up to me. The board, your father in particular, has decided you're ready. So here are the ground rules. Ground rules. Take it slow. No center stage, no major traumas. You'll act in a supervisory role only, and we'll reevaluate it in a few weeks. Okay, I can handle that. Welcome back, Dr. Layton. <laughs> That's what he said, you're back. Well, I'm not gonna be running the residency program, but I'm back at work. What? Arontin. Amitriptyline. Still having those headaches and nerve pain? I was in a coma for three months. I take Topamax, too. Relax, I got this. Okay. Okay, come on, let's do this. Angel Space, 12 ambulances en route. 14 patients all unconscious. 5 DOA, cause unknown. <laughs> We found him like this in a house by DOA. Two of ours passed out on scene. Maybe carbon monoxide. Maybe. Center stage, for him, please, and this one too, and any other criticals. The rest I want. Is there any drug paraphernalia? No. I want to know what we've got here. Bring it in here, guys. Bring it in here. Arterial pumper from a scalp black. Looked like this one tumbled down some stairs when he lost consciousness. Uh, what are those? No clue. They're all wearing them. The rest of their personal effects are in here. I got those. What do we got? I don't know. That's what we're trying to figure out. Let's right. uh, so get ready for a transfer. I'm like count. One, two, three. Okay. His patient's in respiratory distress. Okay, you need to intubate, Dr. Dixon. Dr. Rorish. Yes. You've got Paul Wentworth, 42 years old from Ohio. Got it. I can't intubate. His airway's swelling up. You'll need to use a small ET tube. Risa, get him a 6 0. Yes, Dr. Dr. Willis, you've got Charlie Lafredo, 21, from Missouri. Ready with the 4 0 crawling. Gonna need a CT scan when I'm done. We need pay some pass over here. The girl is Dana Albright, 19, from Colorado. You sure you didn't find these guys on a tour bus? CT and heart rate are crashing. I'll start a dopamine draft. One, two, three. He's vomiting. I need suction and Zofran, Mama. Let's turn him. There you go. Dr. Marsh, this one's in respiratory distress, too. Okay, put her over there by the counter. Dr. Layton, can you get on that? Yeah. Upward. Why is he still seizing? His meds should be kicking in by now. Yeah, they should. Willis, you got any ideas? Could be sarin gas. It's the same symptoms. <laughs> I still can't get the tube in. Hey, his throat's too swollen to intubate. He needs to be criked. Okay. Watch it. This patient's gonna code. Got a man down over here. Somebody help him. It's on them. It's in their clothing. It's a cholinergic toxidrome. Okay, everybody. Listen up. We need to get all these patients outside right now. Quickly, but carefully. And nobody touch them until decom. Go, 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 go. When we get them out, cut the clothes off. All of them. <laughs> Bring as much atropine as you can get. Go, 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 go. Clothing off. Still seizing. Okay, Adam, you should start working any minute now. What the hell? Are you kidding me? Guys, the bracelets are connected to them. What do you mean connected? Do not remove the bracelet. We need an x-ray of that. What's going on? Where am I? Where's Dana? Dana! Dana! Hey! 
I'm here! I'm over here! Yeah, stay calm. Stay down. Don't let them do anything. Don't let them treat you. I'm sorry. She died on the scene. She made it. She, she made it. <laughs> She's made it! Seems like they're wired to the median nerve fibers of the wrist. What are they for? Did anyone succeed besides my wife? Five other people have died, if that's what you mean by success. What are those bracelets for? Paul, listen to me. The atropine has stabilized you, but it is going to wear off. We don't know what we're treating, and, and it could get much, much worse. At least tell us what toxin you used. I am exercising my right to refuse treatment. I am exercising my right to refuse treatment. Nothing creepy about that. You are not to remove the bracelet from my wrist or provide me with any medical care. You are not to remove the bracelet from my wrist or provide me with any medical care. I see you've succeeded in poisoning their minds as well. Poisoning? No, we're transcending. Transcending? Transcending what? Our 1.0 bodies. We're going to live forever. Sounds exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> we should separate him from his flock. Agreed. I don't have a flock. It's not religion, it's science. Science. Right. Okay, let's wheel him into his private room. You haven't heard of all this? Can I see Dana? A couple questions first. What did he use? Was it a liquid? Was it a gas? Did it smell? I think he said he was going to use some kind of fertilizer. I don't know what. And, um, horse shampoo? Those are both organophosphates. They made a homemade pesticide. We're going to need to pay. Yeah, a lot of it. Got it. What about the brace? Paul is a futurist. A futurist? And a neurosurgeon and a biomedical engineer. He's a genius, and he's also insane. And the bracelet? He thinks he found a way to upload our consciousness to a supercomputer. The bracelet's wired into our central nervous system, and at the moment of death, it's supposed to transfer our spirit into a virtual world where we await our next bodies. And you believe that? It was all theoretical in the beginning. I didn't think we'd really go through with it. But you did go through with it. No. I'm... Yeah. I, uh... I mean, I stopped. I called 911. And I saw Dana fall to the floor. And he said we wouldn't be scared, but I was. I was scared. I dragged her outside. I, I don't remember anything after that. Is Dana your girlfriend? Oh, my God, what do we do? You're a shrink. Oh. Is it that obvious? Dana, can you tell me what led you to the children of Elysian? Don't talk to her, Dana. It's not a secret for me. <gasps> There's nothing she can say. If it's not a secret, then how did a girl like you end up here? I needed an answer. <gasps> and nobody else had one. And Paul had the answer. He'd been asking the same question. <gasps> if we can use technology to advance ourselves in life. <gasps> Why can't we use it to advance ourselves in death? Dana, I need help over here. Full socks are down to 72. Pressure's 50 over 35. Dana, can you hear me? You can't touch her. Her atropine dose is wearing off. She needs two pounds. She said she doesn't want treatment. Nurse, shut the curtain. Dana, I'm here. Be brave. Did she refuse treatment? Yes, they all did. So what are you doing? She seemed of sound mind to you. Yes, she was She's very clear and deliberate to me. So joining a cult, soldering wires to your she nervous system, drowning in poison is evidence of clear thinking. I have an ampule of a two pad right here. Oh, me. Uh, we need to You're discuss not... this. We discuss this anymore. She's going to be dead. 
You're violating her brain. Dr. Willis, she refused treatment. She's toxic. She's getting no oxygen to her brain. She can't make a decision. Guys, she's crashing. Beyond the moral implications, there are also legal These ones. These people joined a cult to email themselves into the future. Is that not the definition of insanity? No, actually, it is not. I agree with Ethan. I don't think they're capable of making the choice to refuse care. Atropine is temporary, and we don't have a lot of time to weigh it. Eventually, the damage is going to be irreversible, and the two pam isn't going to work. Some of these people may be there now. Paul Wentworth is a doctor. He calls them all his patients. We might not like him or his theories, I but... I heard enough. I've been treating them. Everyone gets two Pam immediately. Pretty good. Yes, they had them. Yes, thank you. You know, for a guy who dropped like a hot brick, it's an interesting choice. Oh, you know, everyone has their vices when they get nervous or freaked out. For some, it's a treadmill. You know, some, it's meditation. Others, it's Kanye. It's never Kanye. Mm -mm. No, for you, it's just cheese puffs. <laughs> Hey, is Eloise all right? I heard that she uh, hit her head. Yeah, she's okay. Right there. You crushing a minor sugar bear? I'm just concerned, okay, medically. Mm -hmm. Medically. Guys, got a lot of patients who need doctors. Grab a chart, save some lives. Are you back running the program now? No, just back to kicking your ass. Oof. I thought I'd take you to dinner. Linda, what are you doing? Should we be back east by now? I thought we could get to know each other better. Better? Linda, I don't know you at all. Let's fix that. Okay, look, um, you seem nice enough. It's just, I really don't have time in my life. For family? Us. You're not my family, okay? You're my dad's girlfriend, and now he's dead. Look, I'm sorry. I've got patience. i got to go. Mario. I'll be in town for a while. Call me. He shouldn't have been climbing a tree. I told my back for one second. It's broken, isn't it? Yeah. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> That's the adrenaline talking, bud. I'll call your mom again, Keegan. His mother's out of town. She's going to kill me. Hey. Kids fall. Don't be so hard on yourself. He's sick, Nick. Like... Straight to voicemail. Deep breath when we kick in. That's it. And then another. Jesse, that's a possible rib fracture. Let's get him a chest X-ray. I want to see his lungs. Good. Yeah, and pull up ten of Lido. Keegan, I'm gonna numb your wrist so we can fix it. Okay, bud. You're not gonna feel a thing. I promise. Hey, hey, hey. We don't need to do a hematoma block. Let's just sedate him. No, it's fine. It's got a distal radius fracture. Should reduce easily. Let me, uh... Damn it. Uh... Jesse, how you feel about sedating him? Two milligrams per kilogram of ketamine. Deep breath. That's it. You can't stop me, you know? Why do you want to kill yourself so badly? I'm not killing myself. Then explain it to me. You wouldn't understand. Friend of yours wanted to say hi. Dana. How? How could you? I couldn't watch you die. I wasn't dying. Sam is waiting for me, and you took that away. Sam? Curiouser and curiouser. Come on, Dana. He's not waiting for you. There's nothing there but death. And you know this, how? They teach you about quantum physics at vocational school? This isn't you, Dana. How would you know? You don't know anything about me. This wasn't one of our best plans. I know I love you, and I know you love me, too. I know you do. Love you. You're insane. How many times do I have to tell you this, Charlie? <coughs> I'm married. <coughs> That's what this whole thing is about. And you know it. 
Oh, my God. Someone help him! All right, let's get him back to his bed. I need a wheelchair. If you want me to go, I will. But only because I can't watch you hurt yourself anymore. Dana, what did you mean that that's what this is all about? My husband is waiting for me in Elysian. And where is this Elysian? It's a virtual world that Paul created. A place where, where we can be together. Thank you. What are you looking for, sweetheart? A vein? Well, we're all sclerosed. You mean I've been poked within an inch of my life by my rad oncologist? Then yes. Ashley, it's Barbara. Obviously, I'm not making the meeting. Something came up. I'm sorry. There. Got it in. I'm at the hospital. I uh, broke my ankle. Anyway, we'll have to reschedule. Uh-huh. Stepdaughter trying to avoid her sympathy. Well, the CT should tell us for sure if it's a bowel obstruction. They're pretty typical in colon cancer patients. Yes, if you could read, you would see on my chart, I've had three. Okay, so um, we'll be back when radiology's ready for you. Can't wait for that. How long do you think? Could be a couple of hours. <sighs> Is there anyone else you want us to call for you? No, nobody wants to deal with this, trust me. You think I'm crazy, don't you? I think you did a terrible thing. You and I are exactly the same. We're both doctors. When you learned about heaven, did you think it was insane? I did. But how do you know that this isn't what God meant? Just like he guided Moses to Mount Sinai or Noah to the ark, how do you know he didn't guide me to Elysium? So you're a prophet. Those are your words, <laughs> not mine. Your heaven. What is it like? There's no more guilt. There's no more grief. There's no more regret. There's no more pain. It's simply not in the program. People like you have been promising to magically alleviate pain since the beginning of time. Let's talk about your pain. Let's not. It's obvious. It's your albatross. You don't have to bring it with you to Elysian. Your blood pressure is climbing. Do you have hypertension? I see you. What do you see, Paul? His blood pressure is skyrocketing. It's heart rate, too. Paul. Seizing. Okay, more out of him. I got him. Oh. Okay, here we go. Okay. All right. Seizure dislocated his shoulder. Okay, let me give you a hand with that. That was way too easy. Your arm doesn't get loose like that after just one seizure. Maybe his problems are bigger than the poison. <laughs> so Dane is alive. Is she okay? She's stable. When was the last time you heard from your daughter? About six months ago. She sent us a note to tell us Sam died. His poor mother. When we tried to come to the compound, we were turned away. She wouldn't even talk to us. Can you back up just a little bit? Sam grew up down the street from us. They were inseparable. From the time they were 16, they knew they were going to get married as soon as they were legal. And then he was diagnosed. Leukemia. He was given a year to live. 
They started looking into alternative therapies, traveling from one quack to another. Of course, none of it worked. And she heard about Paul and the children of Elysian. He told them he couldn't cure Sam's body, but he could free him of it. And better yet, Dana could join him. So she thinks she's going to see Sam in this Elysian. We didn't raise her this way. I don't know how my baby let that monster hypnotize her. Maybe you could file for guardianship. But you may not get it. Why not? She's clearly sick. Because the court may not deem her incompetent. But they would if you recommended it. Can we see her? I'm sorry, she's refused. I am a little curious as to why you seem to be on the wrong side of this. I'm not trying to be, but I also know that when it comes to the mind, people can't be forced to heal. They have to choose it for themselves. Look at it. You know how to read a CT? So, everything I've seen... You haven't seen anything. The seizures will stop once we remove the tumor. As will the visions. It's funny. I'm a neurosurgeon and it never occurred to me. Although it makes perfect sense. I need to tell them the truth. They deserve to know. Oh. I thought the pain meds were supposed to help. Still having abdominal pain? Oh, like a scene from Alien. No rigidity, but your white count's very high, and temperature is... Where's the cast? So your broken ankle is actually what? That brow lift you always wanted? This is a county hospital, Ashley. That brown education really was a waste, Don't. wasn't it? Don't. Not today. Dad's estate has taken over a year to settle. We oh, were God finally going to be done. We really have your be done money for the weekend. The meeting. This isn't about the money, Barbara, and you know it. I want my parents' house. It's all yes, that I well, all of my them. stuff is in it right now because your father left it to me. You were a guest in that house. For 20 years? Yes. Actually, your stepmother's pretty sick, so... So... <clears throat> and why don't you step outside while we finish up our work, huh? Just please get her out. Listen. The doctors have told me the truth. I have a tumor. It's been giving me seizures. It explains my visions of Elysian. My tumor. It was another gift from God. All right, that's he enough. He gave me what I needed to find the path <laughs> to the future. He could fulfill his, could fulfill his highest <laughs> aspirations for get him out of here. There is no more grief. No, no, no more guilt. No, no more regret. No we more won't pain. give up. We love you, Paul. Love you, Paul. Love. See you in Elysium. I will see you in Elysium. What's wrong with him? Help him. He's retracting. Could be a complication of a rib fracture. Put him on a non-rebreather. His chest x-ray was normal. It's going to be fine. No, it's not. He's got a pneumo on the left side. Let me see that. I got it. How could I miss that? Is he going to be okay? Yeah, we just need to put a tube in his chest so he can breathe. Prep a chest tube. Dr. Layton, get that chest tube.
I am brave. Go. Do you hear that, Strider? That's weird, even for a pneumo. Step back, Dr. Layton. Is he going to be okay? Yeah, he's going to be fine. And one more. Scalpel, please. Thank you. Mike, just listen. Angus, step back. Okay, Keegan, you're going to feel a little pressure. Okay. Okay. Wait, Mike, stop. What? This isn't his x-ray. That's not Keegan's x-ray. You grabbed the wrong one. His airway's closing. I need one of Epi and 125 assault you might now. He's got a rash. His pharynx is swollen. This is anaphylaxis. What's happening? Hang in there, pal. Hang in there. Push it. His strider's subsiding. His pulse ox is coming up. That's it. That's it. There you go, pal. Keegan's gonna be fine. We're going to need to uh, keep him for a few more hours, though. Okay. Where are you? Hey, where are you going? I need to see him. No. Okay, please. He took away my daughter. I understand. I need him to explain it to me. I need to understand how this happened. Listen, he can't do anything for you. You gotta focus on your daughter. No! Jesse! No, 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 no. Here, here. No. You gotta cut him down! No. You are not dying. Not now. Okay, then I'm down. You are not dying. Not now. No Elysian Valley for you, you sick bastard. How are you doing now, Barbara? The pain is getting. Oh, God. Are you still here? You're in pain? Tell me what's wrong with you. My therapist has built four houses thanks to me trying to answer that question. Barbara. Colon cancer. How long have you known? About a year. You never called. Not like you called either. I don't have cancer. How long did Dad have Alzheimer's? Oh, God. Two years before I you told me? I didn't know it was Alzheimer's. You did. You shut down when things go bad. You just pretend they're not there. That's what I was to you, just something else to avoid. I'm the avoider. I was the one there with him day after day as he kept slipping further and further away. I fed him, I bathed him, and I never got so much as a thank you. It's not fair. I wanted to be there, but you were always so hostile. You hated me before I even stepped through the front door of that house. Why would I hate you? Because I wasn't your mother. Barbara? Going into Barbara! Bridget abdomen. She must have a perforated colon. Okay, let's start a high line now. Call the OR and clear the CT scanner. Is she gonna be okay? Find a needle. I'm sorry, Barbara. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's hot. It's not perforation, it's typhlitis. Starter impressors. Ask you a question. Did you ever grieve for your husband Sam? Why would I grieve? He's not dead. Right. I want to show you something. I see. You think I'm afraid to see her. 
Sophia is home now. She made it. I'll be seeing her soon. This isn't Sophia. Charlie? Do you know what death by organophosphate poisoning looks like? First his airway closed, like a hand over the throat. Then he began to vomit uncontrollably, drowning in it. We shocked him with 360 joules, which is a horse kick to the chest. His brain was still awake. The smell of his own burnt flesh in his nostrils. His ribs cracked from the CPR, snapping free from the sternum, like ice breaking deep beneath the surface. There was no Elysian for Charlie. There wasn't even dignity. Now he's here, in this ice-cold room. And if he isn't claimed, he'll be buried in an unmarked grave in Potter's Field. And no one will ever remember him. I remember him. Are you sure? Do you remember things in Elysian? I know grief better than almost anyone. And I can tell you one thing. You can't go around it. You can only go through it. You do get through it. Somehow, you get through it. Hi, Dana. Dr. Rorish thought you might want to talk. I can't cry. What do you mean? I know I'm supposed to, but I, I can't. Am I even human anymore? Of course you are. How is she? The surgeon successfully removed her colon. During surgery, they found several other tumors on her spine. We can make her as comfortable as we can, but she doesn't have much time left. You, uh, you can see her now. I don't know what to say to her. She's just the woman that married my dad. Seems she really loved him. You have that in common, right? She's not my family. She's your father's family. And maybe your family's family is your family, if that makes any sense. Heaven to you? No, oh, you're f f 
funny. You were always so funny. You were right before. I never thanked you for taking care of him when he got sick. Thank you, Barbara. It was a lot to take on. And you did it without complaint. Are you kidding? I bitched about it constantly. <laughs> but I was glad it never had to be strangers. Truth is, I would have done anything for that man. I loved him like crazy. I know you did. Oh, no, stop. I'm not saying that you're not an impossible person sometimes. <laughs> Because you really are what I'm saying. Hey, I love you too, kid. A lot of people worked very hard to keep you alive. Sorry, it's not going to turn out as you hoped. Just 60 years ago, a doctor in this hospital would have called me crazy if I told him that he could see a developing fetus through the wall of the abdomen. But in 1956, an obstetrician did it using sound waves. And now you use his ultrasound every day. You're right. Technology is amazing. In fact, it saved you today. But it wouldn't have worked without human beings. We're not saying that the future is without humanity. We're saying that it will augment humanity. There will be no more disease, no more loss, no more pain. I want my pain. Why? Would you want to feel pain? Because I want to feel love. I feel pain for the people I miss. I feel it because I love them. I wouldn't trade that love for anything, not even the pain. I was surprised to call. Yeah, well. I figured I drink coffee, you drink coffee. So why not? Great. Don't get too excited. Too late. Hey. 
Keaton had a bee sting. <laughs> That's what caused the anaphylaxis. It's my favorite place right here. Look at how many doctors have climbed these stairs. And I can feel the history. I felt it when I climbed it myself for the first time. I, um, I knew I was part of a legacy. Look, just give it a little more time. You can do this, Mike. Tried to come back too soon, Angus. And I've been trying to get back to normal. But the truth is, that doesn't exist for me. Right now. I'm not the same. And I don't know when I will be. It's yours now.